Hey guys, welcome to Rolling Line. Actually, welcome to my tester layout here on Rolling Line. Well, I just a uh, mess around. I was building a hill the other day. Actually, they've they've actually certainly improved. If you have a look at this uh, engine here. It's got no smoke, but they they've added recently added particles in, so you got see had uh, smoking. So a lot of the mods now have actually got smoke, which is nice. Now, I was, I was thinking, uh, I don't know if this could be an episode, a little series or something. It might be nice to actually, from scratch, build something. So that's what probably we're going to do. But before we start that, I'm going to um, just add these to a custom drawer. Now, these are mods. And uh, you can basically see them here. But I always find it difficult. Look, there's 64 pages. And actually, I find it difficult using the actual the main drawers to actually find anything so I create custom drawers now these do take a while to actually load up so these what these drawers I've actually created there's six of them so far and I've uh, placed a lot of the modded engines together so add a custom drawer is pretty simple you, uh, you click on there and then you click add and you can add another drawer or you can just select the one you've got. You can also delete it, which I don't really want to do. Now, is it trains three? We do have some space in there, so we click edit. So let's click on that one. You hold your mouse down and you just get some white squares. Yeah, let's not do that. Right click, let's take it back out again, move it to there. That'll do. Click on there. No, that's not good as well. Put that there. That's probably close enough. You get the idea. I'm going to delete off this one. I've done it. Click on it again, this one. Yeah. So you can just right click and take it. Probably as you might lose it. Now these drawers actually move over to new layouts. So when we start a new layout in a second, you can actually just continually use that drawer. Which is good. There we go. But this is getting good mod support now, this game. Okay, so let's... Oh, my, there's a safe. There's a safe. i save what I did. Now we'll go back to... Uh, main menu. Now we're going to go to new game. Not the main maps, custom maps. Empty. And that's why I start off with here. See, there's nothing actually in here anymore. Then you get. You can change the room size. We'll probably leave it to the room size of this. I want some walls though. Click there, black walls. Yep. Much better. You can change the colours of the walls and stuff if you want as well. But I think this is probably fine. Now here you can actually open and shut the drawers. And these are the tables which you've got. Um, so if we were to click on that one. Now aim in this because you can aim it, put it anywhere you want. Can be a little tricky. So you right click it, you can put it down again. I do want it inside of it. You know, we're going to step outside the wall here. So you click on it and you got another one in your hand. Click on it, you get another one in your hand. Now, maybe we should have moved it to that side. Doesn't matter. No one's ever going to see it. Now, that could be a problem, the fact that that doesn't connect properly. Well, if it doesn't, it doesn't, does it? Something like that? Or we ha purposely don't actually have it in there, so you can actually get to it from this side. Yeah, that could be a thing. Yeah, delete that. Essentially, by right-clicking it then, I just chuck them. 
So we could actually do that. And then just pretend we're not walking straight through it. We'll get rid of that one, I suppose. Again, I just done that, haven't I? Are there any other types? There are, aren't there? So it's, it's the round one. We could take something from that side. Oh, this piece is a lot bigger, though. Press space but I can actually just do this. Ah, oh, okay. I really shouldn't just right click it. That we could do. It's slightly smaller. to rotate somewhere. Is it R? No, it's not R. Yeah, backdrop. That's what we were using before. But often it's the wrong way round. No, oh, we just have to rotate it again, aren't we? So, if you see it says F to edit, so we're going to rotate it. So that wasn't the end of the world. It's not perfect because you've got light here and dark here, so it's it's not perfect. So that's life. Well, uh, it's something. We can also put backboards in here somewhere if we want to. We could put them here. We could put it all the way around here on the middle one if we wanted to, or we could put them all the way around on the outside and just look for it, look it from the uh, middle here. It's really up to what we decide to do. I want paint, so what colour should we do the the baseboard? Is that the like? It can always be changed, this doesn't have to be left as this. Okay, that's something. Now what I want to do, because I don't want to keep having to wander back every two seconds. What do we want? Uh, to there, portable drawer. Now, portable drawers are really just trays. I don't think you can actually. Now, again, we're going to have to fine adjust this, I think. Alright, so F. going to bother me this like that. Not sure. Don't need to see all the tray, just need to see enough of it. You can also tilt them if you want to. Also you can have different things on each one. So we could have that on one for instance. One of the things when I initially played the game is I didn't put enough of these drawers in. You can take them out afterwards. Once you've built things, you can always take them out. And I found it so frustrating constantly having to go back and actually find something. So having it right next to you. That we can probably we can do this a little bit as well if you really want to. Just Tap, 
could be t this way. You could actually put. Well, let's try. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not. I realise it doesn't look particularly real having it this way round. Is it actually even useful being here? It's on its side. It's a bit annoying. A bit low, so. We can't grow anything out of it yet until I actually. Uh, I don't think we can. Can we? No, you can't. You need to get this tool out. Press, is it one or two? No, no one. One. If you look at the four squares at the bottom, it says one, two, three, four. You put things into your pocket. So if we could go to apply changes, everything there is now held. But now we can actually grab anything we want from here. I don't know if we use that, we'll keep it there, so we'll actually, we think. Well, I've taken a few minutes, so I've got a vision now. So over here would be sort of the countryside area. Maybe those two there. And these two here would probably be a towny area. Or maybe just this one would be the town and sort of, it sort of, inter I don't know, sort of integrates. Two stations, one over here, one over there. Countryside station there, one sort of towny station here. I want there to be a tunnel, or at least one tunnel here. Maybe another tunnel there. The trap work we're going to keep quite simple on this one. So this is, we'll probably do multiple builds. But, so today we'll just do one very simple build. Now, I was looking at, say, doing something like this. If I plonk that there for a second, get rid of that. Press F. Now... As I said before, if you hold that and move the mouse button down, you can actually make it a lot smaller. And if I move that onto there. Yeah, I'm... This is just an idea right now. Track this side, heal there, heal here. Maybe we could lower that. We are going to lower it down, obviously, but and I was thinking we put a, a line of those there. All right, let's see if we can square this up a bit more. Is that the best we can do? Maybe. I can't get it to be any more precise than that. I think it have to be like that, won't it? Do I delete these? I'll do it again. And the next question I think is going to be, is this higher than a... Uh, a loco, because we really do need it to be higher than the loco. So for that, we need to put a bit of track out. This is by no means how track's going to be laid. And we will custom draw. This will hold the game for a second. What's oh, quite high? That's quite high, so... Oh, yes, yeah, plenty, isn't it? Uh, what about these blocks? If only they're really small, aren't they? Okay, rotate that. There, in. We could have some water, but I don't actually know how to do water. Maybe that's for another build. We'll work out to do some water.
I don't know, maybe. It doesn't have to stay if we don't like it. If we can find some sort of wall texture to go on there, that would be good. Oh, it's still not, is it? I think we're going out the other way now. If we can cheat a little bit and just rotate them slightly. You're annoying. You really are quite annoying. Well, I think we should just check this works before we go any further. The idea is we have some platforms down here. We have some sort of station down here. Yeah. That was near, isn't it? Platforms. Okay. Let's have the station dead centre then. I'm going to move through that cross here a bit more. F for fail. Put it in like that. Okay, so maybe that's where the station's going to be. So let's put a couple of tracks in there. Decide exactly how we're going to do this. Using the shadow to actually uh we should put another track in. Let's see what else we can put in here. I don't want to put it in there, I want to put it in here. How close can we get? I wonder whether we could get one more track in. Right, let's move it before we do anything else. <laughs> and you can't change it once you've done it. Um, horrible thing. You there is a rotate button, I know there is. Have you seen it? Pretty sure there's an actual rotate button, though. The carriage is for spacing. As you can see, we've got lots of spacing, so we're fine. It's not too bad, actually. You can imagine a town here. I'm thinking actually one more set of tracks by the back here. Like a branch line. It would look like a branch line. But we have a, probably a road here with a set of houses behind it. A bridge coming across with a road. So we can have another set of houses over here. Maybe one more track down here. Somehow it's all got to connect around here. And I have no idea right now it's going to do that. Okay. We do need to see if the bridge is going to work. It's a bridge idea. Is it that one, or is it that one? See, there's the end one there. We need one for the... Oh, do we need one? Or do we... Are we just going to put this platform on the other side? No, no, we do need one. Because otherwise we'll just go down from there to there. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This doesn't work. It doesn't work for our needs, at least. You need another piece, though, so it can go straight through with it then there, but it goes straight through. So we're going to have to cheat. It won't look perfect. I don't like that. I have to go upwards. The problem is, if I place it... Oh, that kind of... You know what, that kind of works. Uh, it, works. it works well enough that we can get away with it, I think. The problem is, you can't get enough of this platform. I don't think we can get away with that. Yeah, 
It might. That might be all we can do, though. I don't like that. It's too low. Can we raise it? The legs are still there. Now we just have to pretend that gate's not there. Move it across. Put it down. A bit of a large step, but let's paint it a green colour. Probably have to change this. That says E for multi paint. Oh, we can get rid of it. We should repaint these as well, actually. I don't know if that's the colour we want, though. I don't mind that. That's okay. I wonder if we can actually colour that. Only the, only the top. What about this one on the side? Everything you can colour. Again, um, I don't do that. More grey sort of colours for this. Force me to edit it, isn't it? So, edit room. Is it edit room? Edit details, edit terrain. Oh, maybe it is. Custom colours add. How do we do this then? Just to just press. Maybe. I was just looking in the mods area and I found some retaining walls. So we might be able to put something up. It's obviously not big enough. Now I'm tempted to make it a lot larger. I hope it's a brick texture, but it's not, is it? It's a shame. Put it in there and just put it down. So it looks like it's a sort of. Uh, yeah, I wonder if we can actually just copy that. It's the same problem as before, it's not in like we'd like it, but we're gonna have to just deal with that one way. Uh, right, do that in my hand. Press F. So if I move it there, you know, I can see what I'm doing. We'll probably edit this afterwards at some point in the future. A pillar. Now that could be something which makes it look a bit nicer. That gives it a bit of texture. A 
we're going to have to probably move the track slightly. Also, it's going to have to go in. So we're going to have to move it inwards a lot more. For me, this is another day. For you, probably the same video. Now, you can see I've changed the colours. I've actually moved these around. I've made that white. I wish, actually, I wanted a white line both sides. I didn't initially want the white line, did I? But, uh, yeah, I've also moved this track over a little bit, so now you can move these out a tad more. And yeah, I just put a couple of locos in. I put this one in. How about we don't use this entirely? Instead, we put a bridge across. We put... Yeah, bridge maybe across here. So move that across a bit. The buttress thing across a bit. I think that might work. If we put a bridge across and then we put the walkway up to there and we have the station up on there. There's bits here which we could make a bridge of. It's the station actually is the bigger problem though. I haven't been able to find something which I could use really as a station. So if we went into the buildings. And just the blank buildings. Something like that maybe. E yeah. So we need something darker. The roof. Um, is that the roof? So that's nothing. Hmm. I don't know, maybe if we put some windows and some smoke coming out of it or something, we could actually get it to look okay. Well, it's just been about 10 minutes having a good look around to actually try and find something which we could use. Now, I think it's going to have to be this. What we're going to have to do if I'm going to tr if we are going to build a bridge. It looks very really small, doesn't it? But yes. Put it across here. Actually make it bigger. That's the thickness which I'm worried about, though. You're going to notice something that the right hand side is actually lower than the left, which is annoying. Height wise, I think we're okay. Let's go off there and actually have a proper look. Well, I think height wise, we're okay. This seems quite. This one seems quite big, so let's come there. I was testing this. It, last night. Yeah, I think we're fine, aren't we? So if we get two buttresses there, it should be fine. And then we'll put a walkway going up to here. And then we'll have some sort of building or this thing. I don't know, we might actually need... Uh, Should have done in the first place. Can we take three of these on and if we colour it properly, will it look okay? These questions and more. So we've put a road we could put a road across the other side. Get this one right. And then we could delete the other two and just put them off again. Allow me to that? It does. So 
F fail. I've got it in my hand, right? So Okay, well why do you keep doing that? This needs to be raised up, doesn't it? I think if we if we can raise up those, we don't want to see these brown bits anyway. I hate the controls when you're doing the fine stuff. back out again. Is it going to have to be edit room? I think it probably is, isn't it? Now, so if we can... Just raise up a tad. Alright, we'll worry about that afterwards. Let's, let's uh, destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. Destroy that. I've got to destroy all of it, haven't I? Yes, I've got to destroy all of it. Can I grab that? I can. So if I was to put that... Why are you so big? go there do you? You can't actually go there. Get a little bit to that side because we put the door in there. Make sure we get the height right. These controls are very, very awkward. Got it. I think we've done one. We nice to have some sort of struts underneath it. Alright, I'll go away and I'll do the other one. Right, let's paint that white thing. Um let's try Yeah, it's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> I've put everything on edit. I've actually fixed all these, that's why. Okay, one apply changes. Put that away, put that away, let's see if that will work. I'm not entirely sure now I've done that. Well, dark is better. That's near enough here. Could go for the green, make it look like the bridge. All right, let's we leave this one out. We pick it up again in a sec. If we don't, we want to use it. Uh, 
I don't remember which one it used. That one, perhaps. It's the wrong green. But I don't know if that's what I want to do anyway. That was the green I used, wasn't it? Well, it matches, I suppose. We'll leave it like that for now. Um, I found these bridge buttress things. I don't know if we could use one. I don't know if we really need to use one. See if we can find a, a door. Now, where are the doors? I forget where I put, they are. I was going to say I forget where I put them, but. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I can. It was completely the wrong way around. Bigger. If it is there, I managed to get it in this time. This was F. F for fail. It is multi paint. Okay, let's see what we, what options do we have then. Let's uh, be a plier because I want to do the other one. Should we get a dark sort of red colour? Well, as I thought, it didn't really work, did it? It didn't shade a green. Dark green. Is that one light, one shade lighter? Isn't that one? I don't think it's. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, apply. Yeah. Do that side. Windows. Oh, we need door the other side. Duh. Well, sash windows would be better. I'll put them down to that thing. Wait, no, no, no. Do we need to make it bigger? And the, the, the quick movements aren't by choice, by the way. Okay. We still gotta do the other side. I might just do the other side without you guys and I'll just show you afterwards. It's gonna be a basic a carbon copy. I think that's meant to be a chimney, isn't it? Not exactly centered, is it? Maybe we should have put just one dead center. Move it to the centre there. Again, got a little confused then. Hmm. It doesn't look quite right, does it? But hey ho, here's what it is. So that's what it looks like from the other side. I've just quickly put some windows in and just copied the doors over. Right, so I've got some mods, some road mods. I think probably we need to put something across the bridge so then we can start doing on, something on that bridge. I don't know, is that going to be... F Ooh, that's very wide, isn't it? I don't 
reckon if we're going to get away with that. We really want to have a path or something, but I should have thought that when I put the doors in. Oh well, doesn't matter. We should check the size of it. Alright, we'll do it from this side. I think. Uh, why don't you let me edit it? Ah, that's right. Now I feel we made that road too small, basically. Right, so we've placed a very portly gentleman down. Can we put it up here? Yes, we can. Right. If anything, look at this uh, gentleman here. If anything, that's too big. Is that right? He looks right. Seems so. To a more reasonable. We we'll probably raise us up a bit because we want to put a path in there. That does mean this car is uh, very large then. And the road is actually okay. how it's going to look, it's how it's going to look. <laughs> the more I do it, the worse it looks. Right, I went looking, I found this piece. I'm thinking of putting it on the end. I don't understand know if this is going to work, but... Sometimes. Now, ask the light who actually got that straight. Low to none. Oh, it connects to the right. It'll connect to the right one. It actually allows me to check, doesn't it? fast. Oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I'm playing that again. Doesn't matter. Nope. I thought you'd actually stay. Turn it around. A bit high? Is it too high for this? I don't know. They do a smaller one. They do that one, don't they? Try that one. Still feels high to me. I know. <laughs> Just resize the thing. Should we put them on, on that side then? I 
I'm assuming, yeah, if you multi-paint this, we could make it a sort of a darker colour. It'd be a sort of darker grey colour, wouldn't it? I think this is coming along quite well. Right, there it is. Smoke. So let's put it here for a second. Press F. Fail. <laughs> Difficult to get this into place, isn't it? The problem is that I don't really like the... Uh, okay, well... It's a thing. Edit options is Q. So let's. I think you're meant to change the colour, aren't you? You have to learn how to do smoke a bit nicer than this, but yeah, it's not too bad. It's, it creates smoke. But uh, yeah, that, that's going to be it for this one. Um, I don't know how it's going to edit down yet. It's going to be interesting. Try and edit this one down and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And you press that ding dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye, Z. Bye.